Welcome back to 5 Minute Reviews, where my opinion matters and yours doesn't. Today we're going to be talking about the movie The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, the longest movie title known to man. I was watching Abigail this week, Friday, like the last movie review, and I was like, dang, this movie came out. We might go see it, might not. I watched it today, and I, I, I love my fair share of World War II films, and this one's still pretty good. Probably top top three, I think I've seen. I've seen a lot of World War II films, but this one was pretty good. I liked, I liked what the cast, the crew, and it was it was special because it was based on a true story from Theodore Roosevelt. So what this movie was about, this movie was about these UK um, organized they like organization. They like formed a special forces group for the Prime Minister and like also a little bit of Winston Churchill. They had these group of small like five five six people like go in and just go from the UK all the way down to Nigeria or and they had 15 days to do it and because they were trying to get rid of the U-boats that the Germans had and they were those were U-boats were stopping the America Americans from coming to the soil and helping the Europeans, the Europe, with their with the with the, with the war, and they just are killing machines. They don't take orders from nobody. They're killing everyone left and right with cross with bows, guns, anything they can get a hand on. They wanted to kill. They just kill. And they had like their special team, special force group was just one was a sailor, one was like the bra- the bronze of the group. Like he just like just he was literally Hawkeye for like ten minutes of the movie. And then one was the captain. He knew everything, what the planning was, what to do. And they go, it's 15, it's everything smooth sailing until they had a second group also there. It was the um, this black guy and then the girl. They were like kind of a couple, pretend couple. And they were trying to get the info for the U- U-boats the entire movie. So they broke and like snuck into the facility of the Nazis and place bombs and stuff to have the distractions so the U-boats could escape. And they were just like the main support group of that, of their mission. And what happens was that they find out that they are ahead of schedule, the Nazis, so they have to change trajectory and go three days ahead of schedule. So they have to make it in 12 days into 15. And they're on this like tiny like sailboat, so they're not going anywhere. So if they have to move closer to the land, but that's more easily they get spot by the U-boats for the, uh, from the Germans. And so they make it all there on time. They have two days to spare. And this just stuff just breaks out. Stuff's going crazy. Things are blowing up left and right. And it was just wild. And I, I pretty much thought it was really good. I loved how the action was. It was it was also, it was was also realistic. They kept the real, realism a lot in this movie. Not like um, other action movies just shooting nonstop bullets, blowing up, throwing people 500 feet across the, uh, the, their, their area. They had the silencers of their gun, just shooting a couple bullets, making sure they reserve their ammo, and just killing everyone how they do in Black Ops missions, just secret, stealthy, and it was a really good time. So I suggest you guys watch this movie. Make sure to like and subscribe, too. I'm almost at 160. So just can we please get that goal? Like we're almost there. Four more. Four more. I just need four more. Anyone anyone helps. Alright. Well let me know if you've seen the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Let me know in the comments below. I would give this movie a eight out of ten. Let's see you guys in the next one. Peace.